the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Every day, your mind is like a radio tuned to multiple stations. Imagine that your brain generates thousands of thoughts daily, and a large part of these thoughts are silent invaders that, without us realizing, determine how we feel and act in the world around us. Unfortunately, for most people, a large portion tends to be negative thoughts. You have probably found yourself in spirals of doubt, insecurity, and fear, just within your own mind, without it being something from the real world. And you are not alone in this, as we all face these silent invaders in our minds. From an evolutionary standpoint, think that our ancestors needed to be more aware of dangers and threats to survive. This negative bias, this tendency to pay more attention to the negative than to the positive, has become rooted in our psychology as a matter of life or death. In the past, these thoughts were essential for survival and made a lot of sense. But now, in the modern world, these negative thoughts turn against us instead of helping us, making us stuck, holding back our lives. But what if I tell you that we have the power to change this scenario, that we can train our minds to recognize, challenge, and replace negative thoughts with more positive and constructive ones. In this video, we'll talk about 14 tactics to reduce or even eliminate negative thoughts. These are practical exercises that you can apply in your daily life and will surely yield positive results. Before we start, please leave your like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us a lot and costs you nothing. Let's go. Number one, you are not what you think. Often, we identify so strongly with our thoughts that we begin to believe they represent our true essence. However, it's crucial to recognize that our thoughts are just products of our mind and do not define who we are. Stoicism, a school of philosophy that values virtue, wisdom, and self-control, teaches that we should not be carried away by irrational or impulsive thoughts. It's possible to lead a full and meaningful life by learning to control our perceptions and reactions to external events, as it is not the events themselves that disturb us, but rather the interpretations we make of these events. To apply this concept in eliminating negative thoughts, start by practicing the distinction between your thoughts and your reality. Remember that just because you think something, it does not mean it's true or should influence your behavior. Questioning the validity of your negative thoughts is an essential step. Ask yourself if there are real evidences that support these beliefs, or if they are just unfounded assumptions. Moreover, practice emotional detachment from your thoughts. This does not mean suppressing or ignoring your feelings, but rather observing your thoughts as if they were clouds passing through the sky of your mind. This observational approach allows you to evaluate your thoughts from a more objective and less emotional standpoint. Finally, use stoic wisdom to reinforce that you have the power to choose how to respond to your thoughts. Instead of being a victim of negative thought patterns, take control of your reactions and choose more rational and constructive responses. This may involve replacing negative thoughts with positive affirmations, focusing on what is within your change, and practicing gratitude for the good things in your life. Number two, limiting exposure to negativity the current media and informational environment is saturated with negative news, dramas, and tragedies that can significantly affect our emotional and mental state. Constant exposure to this information can lead to a cycle of negative thoughts, anxiety, and pessimism. To mitigate this effect, it's important to be selective about the content we consume, opting for programs, news, and media that promote positive, inspiring, or light content can help maintain a more optimistic and balanced perspective. 
This doesn't mean completely ignoring world events, but finding a healthy balance that allows you to be informed without being overwhelmed by negativity. Moreover, reducing the time spent on social media can be beneficial, as these platforms often amplify negative news and conflicts. Instead, dedicating yourself to activities that uplift your spirit, such as hobbies, reading, music, or any form of art that brings joy and contentment, can be an excellent way to divert your mind from negative influences. Creating an environment that encourages positivity, whether through the selection of content you watch, the books you read, or the conversations you have, is crucial for developing a healthier and more positive mental state. By consciously limiting exposure to negativity and prioritizing activities and information that bring happiness and inspiration, you can create a stronger mental shield against the invasion of negative thoughts. Number three, imagination versus reality. This is a fundamental technique for overcoming negative thoughts, emphasizing the distinction between the internal narratives we construct and what is factually true. Often, the mind weaves stories based on fears and assumptions that do not correspond with reality. When facing these moments, it's essential to practice awareness by questioning the validity of your thoughts and recognizing them as mere hypotheses, not absolute truths. Detaching from destructive thoughts is a crucial step. This involves understanding that thoughts are temporary and do not define your reality or identity. Techniques like mindfulness meditation can be extremely helpful here, allowing you to observe your thoughts non-judgmentally and let them go without clinging to them. Furthermore, focusing on real facts helps to undermine the basis of negative thoughts. Questioning the reality of your fears can reveal a lack of concrete evidence supporting them allowing for a more positive and realistic reformulation of your concerns. Shifting focus to positive visualizations can be transformative. Instead of clinging to catastrophic scenarios, redirect your mind to imagine positive outcomes and situations. This not only relieves anxiety, but also paves the way for a more optimistic and proactive mindset. Finally, engaging in activities that promote presence in the current moment can help ward off unnecessary worries. Whether through physical exercises, hobbies, or time with loved ones, staying grounded in the present reduces the inclination to get lost in unfounded concerns about the future or regrets of the past. Implementing these strategies can transform how you perceive and react to your thoughts, moving from a cycle of negativity to a more balanced and positive state of being. Number four, setting realistic goals. This approach helps to avoid the frustration that comes from unrealistic expectations and reinforces the sense of accomplishment and self-efficacy. Setting realistic and achievable goals allows you to have a clear path to success, avoiding disillusionment and discouragement that can arise from facing overly ambitious or vague objectives. When setting goals, it's crucial that they are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This not only provides a clear framework for what you want to achieve, but also makes tracking progress and celebrating small victories along the way easier. Each achieved goal acts as a positive boost to self-esteem and concrete proof of your capabilities. Start with small goals that can be easily achieved and gradually work towards more challenging objectives. This builds a sense of ongoing progress and success, which are powerful antidotes against negativity and self-doubt. It's also important to be flexible and kind to yourself when setting and pursuing these goals. Recognize that unforeseen events may occur and adjust your goals as needed without punishing yourself or feeding negative thoughts for not meeting exactly what was initially set. Remember, the journey to achieving a goal is as important as the end result, and every step toward your goal is a victory in itself. Number five, the worry jar technique. 
This is a useful tool for eliminating negative thoughts by allowing you to externalize and analyze your worries in a tangible way. By writing down your worries, you take them out of your mind and place them in a physical environment, which can help reduce the sense of mental overload and see the worries under a new light. This technique involves writing down each of your worries and placing them in a specific location. It can be a physical place, like a jar or envelope, or even writing in some digital file. The important thing is that you note your worries outside your mind. The act of writing helps clarify your thoughts and feelings, making them less threatening and more manageable. Moreover, by transferring your worries to a physical space, you create a symbolic separation between you and your negative thoughts, which can be incredibly liberating. After writing down your worries, take a moment to reflect on them. Ask yourself which are realistic, which can be resolved, and which are mere speculations without a basis in reality. Often, by visualizing our worries outside of the mind, we realize they may be exaggerated or unfounded. Set a regular time to review the content of your worry jar. This can be done daily, weekly, or as needed. During this review time, evaluate each worry individually and decide if it still deserves your attention or can be discarded. For the worries that remain relevant, think of practical actions you can take to resolve them. The worry jar technique not only helps to lessen the intensity of negative thoughts, but also promotes a more proactive approach to dealing with concerns. It encourages problem-solving and decision-making, which can increase the sense of control and reduce anxiety. By practicing this technique regularly, you can become more adept at handling negativity constructively and maintaining a more balanced and positive perspective on life's challenges. Number six, reducing perfectionism. This is a crucial step in eliminating negative thoughts as perfectionism often generates disproportionate internal pressure and self-criticism. The desire to meet unrealistic standards can lead to constant feelings of failure, dissatisfaction, and fear of making mistakes, fueling a cycle of negative thoughts. To tackle perfectionism, start by recognizing accepting that perfection is an unattainable goal and that making mistakes is part of the learning and growth process. Acknowledge that perfectionism is not synonymous with excellence or success. Instead, it can be a barrier to productivity and personal satisfaction. Challenge the need to be perfect by questioning the validity and origin of your perfectionist beliefs. Reflect on the consequences of perfectionism, such as the additional stress it brings and how it affects your health and well-being. Try to identify specific situations where your perfectionism manifests and consider healthier and more realistic ways to approach them. Set realistic and flexible goals for yourself, acknowledging that perfection is an impossible objective. Learn to value progress and effort rather than focusing solely on the final outcomes. Celebrate your achievements and progress, no matter how small, and treat mistakes as learning opportunities. Practice self-compassion by treating yourself kindly and understandingly when things don't go as planned. Remember that you are human and that everyone has limitations and flaws. By adopting a more understanding and less critical attitude toward yourself, you can lessen internal pressure and create a healthier and more positive mental space. Reducing perfectionism does not mean abandoning standards or the pursuit of improvement, but rather adopting a more balanced and gentle approach toward yourself. By doing so, you can alleviate the burden of negative thoughts and create an environment more conducive to personal growth and satisfaction. Number seven, abandonment technique. This tactic involves a conscious decision to let go of a negative thought, replacing it with a focus on something tangible and productive within reality. 
This method is based on the idea that you can control where you direct your attention and, by extension, influence your emotional state. When a negative thought arises, acknowledge it, but choose not to engage with it. Instead, divert your attention to an activity or object in the real world that requires your concentration and energy. It can be something simple, like practicing a hobby, completing a work task, meeting with friends, or even physical activity. This shift in focus allows you to break out of the cycle of negative rumination and engage in something productive, which in turn generates feelings of accomplishment and positivity. Engaging in activities that you find interesting or rewarding creates a barrier against the penetration of disruptive thoughts, offering a form of healthy escapism and a reset of your mental perspective. In addition to providing immediate relief, this technique promotes long-term change in your response to negative thoughts. With practice, you will develop the ability to quickly disconnect from negative thought patterns. Redirecting your energy toward more constructive and meaningful actions in your life. Number 8. Critical Questioning This is a powerful approach to combat negative thoughts, encouraging deep analysis of their validity and origin. This method involves cultivating a questioning mindset where instead of accepting negative thoughts as absolute truths, you challenge and scrutinize them critically. When a negative thought arises, instead of feeding it or allowing it to unfold into a spiral of rumination, ask questions like, is this really true? Are there concrete evidences that support this thought? Is this thought based on facts or assumptions? And what is the worst thing that can happen and how could I deal with it? These questions help to identify whether your thoughts are cognitive distortions such as overgeneralization or catastrophic thinking. Adopting this critical approach allows you to see your thoughts in a different light, reducing their emotional impact and disarming their ability to disturb your peace of mind. Moreover, by actively questioning the validity and origin of your negative thoughts, you prevent them from gaining strength and control over your emotions and actions. Developing the habit of critical questioning also increases your mental resilience, as you become more adaptable and less affected by cognitive distortions or erroneous perceptions. With regular practice, this technique strengthens your ability to face challenges and adverse situations with a more balanced and rational perspective, significantly reducing the influence of negative thoughts in your life. Number 9. Cognitive reframing. This approach involves consciously changing the way you perceive an event or situation, seeking out positive aspects or valuable lessons, even in unfavorable circumstances. Instead of dwelling on the negative aspects or consequences of a situation, cognitive reframing encourages identifying potential benefits or growth opportunities. For example, a failure or mistake can be seen not as a defeat, but as a chance for learning and personal development. A stressful situation can be reevaluated as a test of your resilience or an opportunity to practice patience and understanding. By practicing cognitive reframing, you learn to control your emotional response to events, directing your focus towards the aspects that are under your control and can be improved. This does not mean ignoring negative aspects or denying reality but rather choosing a perspective that minimizes the negative impact on your emotional well-being. This shift in perspective can lead to a significant reduction in stress and anxiety, as you begin to view challenges as opportunities for growth. Moreover, by adopting a more positive view, you can increase your motivation and optimism, which in turn can lead to better outcomes and more satisfying relationships. Number 10. Stop Technique. This is an effective method to interrupt negative thoughts as soon as they emerge, using verbal or physical commands. This strategy allows you to gain immediate control over your mind, preventing destructive thoughts from intensifying or prolonging. When you notice that you are beginning to engage in a negative thought pattern, immediately use a stop command. 
This can be something as simple as telling yourself, stop, enough, or another term that signals the interruption of the thought. Some individuals may prefer a physical gesture, such as snapping fingers, clapping hands, or touching an object that serves as a talisman or a reminder to interrupt the chain of negative thoughts. Using this technique, it's important to act decisively. The stop command should be clear, firm, and immediate to be effective. After interrupting the negative thought, it's helpful to redirect your attention to something neutral or positive, such as an activity you enjoy, a pleasant memory, or a task that requires focus. The stop technique can be especially useful in moments of stress or anxiety when negative thoughts tend to be more prevalent. Practicing this technique regularly can help reduce the frequency and intensity of negative thoughts, providing greater mental clarity and emotional well-being. It's important to note that while the stop technique can be effective for momentarily interrupting negative thoughts, it should be used in conjunction with other strategies for long-term thought management, such as cognitive reframing or meditation. With constant practice, this technique can become a valuable tool in your mental toolbox for maintaining a more positive and focused mind. Number 11. Positive Social Connection Spending time with people who radiate positivity and optimism can have a significant impact on your mental and emotional state. These interactions can not only improve your mood, but also provide a new perspective that challenges negative thought patterns. The people around us can profoundly influence our state of mind. Therefore, it's crucial to choose companionships that contribute to your well-being. Positive individuals tend to share optimistic worldviews, inspiring stories, and words of encouragement, which can help divert your mind from unfounded worries and fears. Moreover, good social relationships offer support in difficult times, helping to alleviate stress and anxiety. Spending time with friends or family members who bring good memories and laughter can be extremely therapeutic and an effective antidote against negativity. On the other hand, it's equally important to avoid toxic and negative people. Interacting with individuals who drain your energy, constantly criticize, or view the world negatively can reinforce your own negative thoughts and lower your mood. Distancing or limiting contact with these people may be necessary to preserve your mental and emotional health. In summary, making a conscious effort to cultivate and maintain positive social connections can be one of the most effective tools in the fight against negative thoughts. These connections not only provide joy and comfort, but can also positively influence your worldview and self-esteem. Therefore, invest in relationships that uplift and help you grow, while protecting yourself from the negativity that certain interactions can bring. Number 12. Practice Acts of Kindness. Such practice promotes feelings of happiness, gratitude, and fulfillment for both the receiver and the practitioner. Performing acts of kindness triggers a series of positive reactions in the brain, releasing neurotransmitters associated with well-being, such as serotonin and dopamine. By focusing on being kind to others, you shift the focus from negative thoughts and concerns to positive and altruistic actions. This can help reduce stress, improve mood, and increase the feeling of connection and belonging. Moreover, kindness often generates a positive response from others, creating a virtuous cycle of positivity and gratitude. Acts of kindness don't have to be grand or expensive. Small gestures can have a significant impact. It could be something as simple as complimenting someone, offering assistance, sharing a smile, or dedicating time to listen to someone in need. Even anonymous acts of kindness, such as leaving a positive note for someone or donating to a cause you value, can boost your feelings of happiness and satisfaction. Practicing kindness also encourages empathy and understanding towards others which can help combat feelings of isolation, envy, or resentment. This reinforces the perception that we are all connected and that our actions can have a positive impact on the world around us. Number 13. 
Focus on progress. When you focus on progress rather than solely on the final outcome, you begin to value the process and the journey. This allows you to see value and purpose in each action and decision, reducing the pressure and frustration that often accompany the pursuit of perfect results. Celebrating progress, no matter how small, can boost self-esteem, reinforce belief in your own abilities, and promote a more positive mindset. To implement this approach, start by setting clear and measurable goals, breaking them down and into smaller, more manageable steps. Acknowledge and celebrate every achievement, no matter how modest, as a reflection of your effort and dedication. This can include personal rewards, sharing your accomplishments with friends, or simply allowing yourself a moment of pride and satisfaction. Additionally, maintaining a progress journal or a list of achievements can help visualize how far you have come, reinforcing the importance of each step taken. This is particularly useful in moments of doubt or discouragement, as it reminds you of previous successes and renews optimism. Adopting a progress-oriented mindset also means learning from mistakes and failures, viewing them as opportunities for growth and development rather than insurmountable obstacles. This helps maintain a positive attitude, even in the face of challenges, and keeps negative thoughts at bay. By focusing on progress and celebrating each step along the way, you cultivate a growth mindset that values learning and continuous improvement. This not only helps eliminate negative thoughts, but also creates a virtuous cycle of self-confidence, achievement, and positive well-being propelling you toward your goals with a happier and more optimistic perspective. Number 14. Recognition and Acceptance Recognizing and accepting negative thoughts as a natural part of the human experience is a crucial step to reduce their influence and prevent excessive rumination. This process begins with the awareness that having negative thoughts is a common occurrence and not necessarily a reflection of personal failures or weaknesses. Mindfully identifying these thoughts allows you to observe them without judgment, understanding that they are simply products of the mind and not absolute truths about you or your life. Accepting these thoughts without trying to suppress or fight them can lessen their emotional and cognitive impact. Instead of entering a cycle of self-criticism or frustrated attempts to completely eliminate negative thoughts, you learn to allow them to exist without letting them define your actions or emotional state. A useful technique to facilitate this process is the practice of mindfulness, which encourages the observation of one's own thoughts and feelings in the present moment with acceptance and without judgment. This helps to develop a healthier relationship with your thoughts, recognizing them as transient and not as immutable aspects of yourself. Acceptance also involves understanding that negative thoughts, though uncomfortable, can be a source of insight and personal growth. They can indicate areas of your life that need attention or change, functioning as a signal for action rather than being seen as insurmountable obstacles. Adopting an attitude of acceptance does not mean resigning or giving up on seeking improvements in your life and emotional well-being. On the contrary, recognizing and accepting negative thoughts as part of the human condition creates a space to address them constructively, focusing on solutions and personal growth rather than being stuck in a cycle of negativity. By practicing recognition and acceptance, you can significantly reduce the power that negative thoughts have over you, allowing you to move beyond them with greater ease and resilience. This process of conscious acceptance helps to relieve the burden of these thoughts, paving the way for a more balanced and positive outlook on life. Thank you for watching. Since you've made it to the end, please comment. Armored Wisdom. I'll leave here two video suggestions that you might like. See you soon.